have our reusable bags in the back this time. Eco-friendly. Yeah, we don't need any more plastic. Save the environment, y'all. <laughs> Today we're going on our San Diego Comic-Con pop hunt. Uh, we're hoping to get the two Harry Potter exclusives, the Moaning Myrtle Glow in the Dark and the Nearly Headless Nick Glow in the Dark. Those are the top two that we're looking for the most. Uh, is there any other ones you're looking for? Um, I really want the Stranger Things pops, the two-pack, um, Dustin, because he's so freaking adorable. Yeah, that hair. That, that hair. That hair um, is so good. <laughs> Then I also really would like Pepe the Pew, but I am I'm thinking that we might not find that one. Um, yeah, I'm hearing that one's really uh, top of the list for a lot of people. It's kind of hard to find. But. It's not like the end of the world for me, but I just really always liked, you know, those kind of cartoons like Looney Tunes. Yeah, Looney Tunes. I like I had a Looney Tunes bedroom when I was a baby. Okay, you guys. So that's um, tight. Yeah. I have pictures of it somewhere. I had a whole bunch of Mickey <laughs> Mouse stuff when I was a baby. Yeah, I had like a piggy bank from like when Mickey Mouse was first a thing from my grandma. It's wild. My parents have a picture of me in Mickey Mouse jeans when I was like two. Oh my gosh, I had like a Winnie the Pooh like couch. I know that's not Looney Tunes, but still. I know, like a reclinable chair, but like for kids, you know? Ooh. It was pretty tight. Baller. Yeah, right? I guess we'll see what's available to us. Yeah. Uh, first stop is Barnes and Noble, and then we'll hit up the Hot Topic, and then GameStop. Because yes. there's only places that we want exclusives from, except for Funko Shop, because they oh, have yes. the Pain and Panic the... two-pack. Wait, and isn't that the Doctor too? The, no, 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 no. The Doctor is gonna be from BBC, BBC Shop. BBC Shop. Which is on BBC <laughs> Shop. Jesus Christ. The first to market exclusive, so it just has a special sticker. Basically, it's like a first edition of a book. They're gonna come out with more later on. We just like stickers because so we're we're extra and we like boxes. Yeah, like we have the first release, uh, like Power first release girls. to market. Really, thanks for finishing my sentence. I just can't talk. Uh, that's we're pretty frazzled because we're not morning people. So yeah, can you see? That's why I'm wearing these, not because of the obvious sun. The glowing thing in the sky. I know, no, I'm like squinting. Like I'm crap. like, hello. Because <laughs> it's so bright. Exactly. Anyways, uh, we'll check in with you in a bit and see what we can find. Title of the video almost gets hit by parking meter person. <laughs> Yeah, who do we have here? Okay, I'm drinking dinner. Ha. <laughs> it's the last one they have here. Okay, let's go. I'll be right with We did better than we expected. Way um, better. People are looking at us filming. <laughs> Those vlogging kids. Um, so we're Walking Ooh. now to Hot Topic, Apple and then store got a line. games. San Diego. Comic they literally exclusive. the Apple Store has a I line don't. every day, out the door as soon as they open. <laughs> Anyways, we're going to Hot Topic next. So all I wanted was Mardo. Yeah. And look at this line. Uh, we're here way past open, and there's still a line. So we'll see. That also went better than expected. We got the last moaning mark. Yeah, so that's two stores that we got the last of their exclusives. So it's things a good are day. looking good right now. Now I heard about GameStop that it's kind of difficult that they have low quantities of stuff, but we'll test our luck and see what we have. And I'm at least happy with what we have. So if there's nothing here, then it's still a pretty good day. Yeah, check it out, check it out, check it out. Ooh, goodies. Wonder what else is in there, y'all. <laughs> Hello. So Hi. we just left the GameStop, mm -hmm. and so there's only one thing that we really wanted that we didn't get, and that is the Two. Dustin. The Dustin and oh, Red and Hood. Oh, and Red Hood. I forgot about that. Um, Those are the only buddies we couldn't get, but we nabbed everything else we really wanted. Amazon just went live, so I went on Steven's phone because he's the one with Prime, and um, but the Thor and the Jack-Jack dressed as Egna. Egna? 
Hector no. dressed as Dressed Edna. as eggnog. <laughs> yeah, it's the Jack Jack as Edna from that scene in Incredibles 2. Really cool exclusive because it's like such a small thing, you know? And then there's the Odin Force uh, Thor from Ragnarok. So he's glow in the dark and he's got the bright blue eyes and it looks really cool. So that's obviously going to be in a separate video when we do our reviews. That'll be like a mail call thing. But we got yeah. them, so expect to see that soon. Very exciting. All right, we will see you at this GameStop again. Again. I don't feel so good, Mr. Stark. <laughs> Welcome to GameStop. Inside this location, all activities are being monitored and recorded oh. for your safety and protection. Oh, so oh, we're back, we're back, we're back, we're back, we're back. Are we back? We are totally back. We uh, hit up this GameStop that had this dusted on hold for us and we were able to get them. And then the manager informed us of a little deal they had going on that we didn't know about. So we took advantage and uh, you'll see what other goodies we got. So now we are headed to one more GameStop. <laughs> Another GameStop. To just get the last thing on our list that we can get shared exclusives that didn't sell out. So the only thing that we weren't able to get today that we really wanted was Pepe Le Pew. Yeah. Correct? But he was towards the bottom of the list, so I'm not heartbroken. Yeah, I'm not heartbroken. If we can get him in some kind of trade or something at some point, that would be cool. But mm -hmm. if it doesn't happen, I'm not going to, you know, it's not going to be the end of my world. But that's fine for now. So we will see you guys at this next GameStop again. Bye. Bye. We got the Red Hood. <laughs> yes, we did. There it is. You see the GameStop behind us. Oh, yeah. Look, this is a good shot. GameStop. GameStop. They held it for me. It was nice. GameStop's the only place that's been holding pots on con season time. No one else would do it. Not even Barnes & Noble. I get Hot Topic and Box Lunch because that's how they are normally all the time. Yeah, but like sometimes they won't even put regular pops on hold. It really just depends on the manager of the store. It's like a corporate policy thing. I don't know. But basically, we got everything we really wanted today. Today went swell. And, swell. Um, it went swell. Yes. So we'll show you everything uh, that we got when we get home. But first, we're going to go run to Target really quick. Bye. Bye. Hey, guys. Hey, we're back. Uh, finally home from a big day of uh, San Diego Comic-Con pop hunting. And boy, was it rewardful. Rewardful. Even though we got out of the house like late today, like we were planning on going like two hours early, and I just woke up feeling like trash can. So <laughs> we didn't um, end up going until like... 20 or 30 minutes after the stores had opened and <laughs> we were really actually, worried yeah we were we really worried that anything. we weren't gonna get anything and the only thing that we didn't get today that we wanted was Pepe Le Pew and we got everything else especially the ones that and like hard extra to find. like stuff that we weren't expecting to get like at all yeah so I guess without further ado let's show you uh the things we got our hauls the first stop we made was Barnes and Noble then we hit up the Hot Topic and then we went to like three different game stuff so we're gonna go in like order of how many pops per store we got so yeah. we got the least from Hot Topic so we're gonna start with that yeah um so Moaning Myrtle and Super Saiyan Broly. Broly. <laughs> Sorry, I don't watch Dragon Ball Z. This is more for him, but yeah, I had to put him in my Super that. Saiyan collection. I uh, always tell people like, yeah, we have this many pops, but you have to remember that this is like both of us. So like some of these pops, like I'm not particularly like looking for, and some of the pops that I collect, he's not particularly looking for, you know. And then there are some things that obviously we both love, like Harry Potter and Doctor Who, but. Mm -hmm. This yeah. one's a, a just for me. Um, <laughs> I also have the Super Saiyan Glomidar Goku and the Super Saiyan Trunks. I still need a Vegeta, though. He had also that, like, metallic blue-haired... Vegeta that I Vegeta. traded. Yeah, but we traded that for... What did you trade that for? I don't recall. <laughs> We've done so many pop trades. It's That's hard. a really cool thing about, like, instead of just, like, buying, like, pops for flipper prices, which, like, sometimes if you really want something, then you gotta do that. But what I really like is, like, trading with someone, because then, like, you're getting it from, like, a fellow collector, and you're helping them get something they want and it and helps you're build something. relationships in the community yeah, and like we've made a lot of friends that way so online too it's not just IRL and um, it's just really great being able to help other people out and having them help you out it's just a nice feeling so yeah that's what we picked up at Hot Topic um, next this was actually you... the last Moaning Myrtle on the shelf yeah. like we had <sighs> walked in and I didn't see any from like because they were letting like two people out and then letting two people in because the our Hot Topic just isn't that big yeah um 
I don't know how it works at everyone else's Hot Topic. I think it definitely depends on... Dispends. Jesus. Dispends. Depends on your store's, like, size and volume that of people that are going to be there. But, um... So we walked in, and she was just lone on the shelf. She's got a little crease in the lid, but... In the lid. In the top. The lid. The lid. But, um, yeah. But she was I'm the last still one. happy with it because she's the last one, and I literally... She's probably my favorite ghost in the movies. Um, so I'm just very happy. Fun fact, she was definitely one of the top two pops we were really looking to get. So I'm super stoked we got her. So next up, we're going to go ahead to Barnes & Noble. Alrighty, so Barnes & Noble, we were able to pick up the nearly, nearly, the nearly headless Nick, which was also nearly one of the top headless. ten. How can someone be nearly headless like this? And then he like takes his head off. Yeah, like, <laughs> like, like that. Um... But this was this and the Morning Myrtle were our top two picks for San Diego Comic Con this year. Absolutely beautiful pops and just the translucent and the color and they both glow in the dark. It is just top tier. We actually found one of these that had like we didn't get it because I you know it was like a flaw and I didn't like want that. We're but super we found picky. one that had like an air bubble in his face. Then we got the Billy and Karen Wheeler two pack. Um, Correct me if I'm wrong with that I name. really hate that, um, I'm pretty sure that's what it is, but I really hate that they tape two packs. Yeah. I really don't like that, because we like to open our pops. Like, I understand, like, an open box, mint whatever, but, like, people. I just don't see the point in having a piece of tape here. But anyways, then we got the Guardians of the Galaxy Volume 2 Craglin. Um, Which was another last one in the store. So I was going to say that, but she, oh, she, you got me. Sorry. It's cool. No, no, go ahead. You're right. I just thought it was really exciting because it was stuff that we really wanted. And we got, because like he didn't really care, but like I really thought that this was a great part of the movie. What is going on? That's like a cat's hair. <laughs> Thanks, um, dog. But uh, I just, I thought it was super cool that after what happens that he ends up with this. I'm not going to spoil in case anybody hasn't seen it. Just... With what happens in this movie, a lot of emotion, I think that this I was guess. a really great moment, and I'm glad that they put it into a pop. I, I would say happy. that this embodies a lot of emotion, so the more I look at it, the more I'm stoked to have it, and also for it to be another pop that was the last one. Yeah, we that was up, super cool. That's really like, what sold We were us. expecting to like miss so much because we went you know, so late, like we were expecting that, it, that everything was just going to be gone, but we just got there at like the perfect yeah. time. So now I don't feel bad for not waiting uh, two or three hours like uh, I yeah, tried to. Yeah, we were going to go at like seven when the stores didn't open till like nine just to like make sure that we got everything. But like honestly. I'm glad we didn't do it this year. Then we would have. We got lucky. Yeah. So we got lucky and uh, really sweet pickups. However, we did get one extra little fun bit over at the Barnes and Noble. It is the Harry Potter, uh, what is it, Herptology? Um, Herbology, I Herbology. think Herbology. Does it it's, say? It does not it doesn't say. say. It just but says. It's this is, their... So this is our second Harry, Ron, and Hermione three pack. Should I grab the other one? No, but you can grab this guy right here because that is a callback to the Comic Con of 2016, the San Diego three pack of the Cornish Pixie. I love this thing. Um, the Mandrake and the Grindelow. So and so these they're are all mandrakes. holding Mandrakes in this. And the cool thing is. Is okay, so these come individually with each one, just like the original Harry Hermione. And like, we got the three pack because I was like, they come in a three pack. But anyway, all of the mandrakes have like different facial expressions going on, so they're not all exactly the same. And all of the kids have different color earmuffs on, so it's just you know, they didn't detailed. just throw all the same stuff on all the kids and just call it a three pack, you know, like they really went in and did some different details for each one, and I think that that's great. So I appreciate them sculpting, you know, obviously there's less detailed on these because they're smaller, but they still managed to put in enough detail to make them all different, and that's what I really appreciate about that. And even on the art, you can really tell, so like Harry's is just kind of like whatever, and then like Ron's is like pissed, and then Hermione's looks like kind of sad. Yeah, so that is all the uh, Barnes & Noble pickups for today, and now we're going to get to our buddy GameStop, which... We went to three two. Three two? We went, we went to, to three, three stores. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> so next we went to GameStop and boy did they deliver. They came wow. through. Okay, so first thing we went to the GameStop in our local mall and that had 
<laughs> such a long line, probably the longest line that we've seen today. And that's after we went to the other two stores first. And that wasn't which like didn't them really like have lines. Sorry for talking over you, but that wasn't them like letting two people in and then bringing two people out like Hot Topic. That was literally a line to the counter out the door. Yeah. It was so insane. like it wasn't like they were limiting how many people could come in. Like there was They're literally just, like, just a line. Go. On delay. I felt bad for this girl. She was like in line and then she like thought that the pops might be somewhere else. So she lost her place in line to yeah. go talk to her Oof. friend. And then she was like, no, they're behind the counter. And then they like missed out on what they wanted. So I felt yeah, really bad. We were there bad. at the counter and there was one Dustin left and there was like two people in front of us and the guy got it. And yes. I was so upset. So when we got to the front, they only had the Iron Man left that we wanted. They still had some of the Captain Tupac Dorbs and the Rock Candies from Saga and the Overwatch Soldier 76. That's all they really had. So, I mean, we at least were able to walk away with the Iron Man. But then, I thought that was super cool because they haven't really done a, a pop of like the original Iron Man suit that he like well, made himself, you know. Like. Yeah, see that's the thing. They're going back into the first 10 years, the first 10 year of Marvel movies and bringing back old designs for pops, which I'm super stoked for to see what else they can do. So yeah, the first store we picked up Iron Man because that's all they really had left. Then um, the manager told us to call some other stores in the area that aren't as busy, that aren't near malls or strip malls. So he gave us the idea, and we called two different stores, and I was asking to see if they both had these two, so I can just go to one store. Nope, one store had this guy, and the other had this guy, so they were nice enough to put them on hold for me, but we had to go to two extra GameStops. So um, next thing, uh, we got the Dustin, the last one at the store we called, which is crazy. That's three pops. I didn't even get to look at him, so just... That, yeah, he were asking me in the car, I was like, do you want to see so him? She's like, oh, I'm already sitting. Gorgeous. I just, he's like the best character in the show. I'm he's, <laughs> this is, yeah, it is a really great sculpt in detail, and that scene is so good. It's just very emotional. I really love him. I feel like he's just got such, like, character development, and, like, he's just such a bean. The best he's personality, I think. Yeah, in the show. and, like, huh. Anyways, then we went to the last GameStop in the area to pick up our Red Hood, which was also top of the list for me right next to Broly. It's so sweet, especially because um, she recently finished the um, Batman Arkham games. And this was the last one at that store as well. That's, that's four. That's four pops from different stores that we picked up the last one at their locations. So that's some incredible luck, if I say so myself. While we also picked him up, the manager at that store told us of a promotion that they had going on, which is buy three, get one free. That included the con exclusives. And he so, really wanted this Conan, so we we picked that up, and then we were like, okay, so we're going to get one of these free, so just grab the Rick and Mortys. We were like going to put that Because it's going to be because, a set. So yeah. we bought this guy, these two, and then Conan came for free. Because Conan's my favorite late night talk show host. I think he's just the funniest, and I enjoy him a lot. And I also have the Jedi Conan from last year's okay. Comic-Con that I won. Right over here. I don't know if you'll see it. He's in a pop stack because he just really loves his Conan. Yeah. And he loves Star Wars. So it's like a two-in-one love. And the box art's really cool because it's a whole bunch of Conan heads. <laughs> it's really is funny. Is it really? Yeah. Oh my goodness. That's it's so funny. awesome. I really, this is one of my favorite top ten pops probably. Um, but yeah, that's basically our haul for San Diego Comic-Con 2018. Feels good to be back to do stuff like this. Anyways, uh, if you want to see us go more in depth with these reviews, and go unbox ahead. Unbox them. And right over here. Touch them. You can you click, join click. Me? Right over here. Click, yeah. click, 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 click. And we'll have a video here uh, showing you all these pops out of box and doing the 360s and talking more in depth about them. So if you want to see a more in depth review of each of these individual figures, I'm going to have a video here shortly and you'll be able to click it in this area. This, here. right? This mass. Here? Yeah, somewhere, somewhere here. Yeah. Here. So um, that should be up with by, I don't know, in the next couple days. So it might not be there immediately but it will be there soon. So if you want to catch that, don't forget to subscribe. Alrighty, see you later. Bye. Ready? Oh my god, this is gonna come up super soon. Okay. Can this be a blooper? Sure. Hmm. Anything's a blooper if it's not in the main video, right? All right, mate. I put Diesel in the car, Morty. <laughs> 
But that saying? has nothing to do with yeah. This. We might not we're, even keep this in. Yeah, we're just going this off just the a, rails. Really this is probably a blooper. <laughs> well, let's start at the beginning. Once we got this to the counter, 